guess I better go ahead and talk about this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been confirmed Windblade will be moving forward by Flame Toys. Yes, they are planning to release this toy of Windblade, which a fan actually painted a really good color coloring of it, which is actually a model kit of a statue of Windblade, light, and it's licensed by Hasbro, which Flame Toys is moving forward, and it's been confirmed that they are planning to release it, according to Bounding Into Comics, which made an article about this, and actually, uh, actually, uh, I will give credit to Geek Gateway, which actually did, um, actually asked, uh, the Windblade, uh, now, keep this in mind, the content was drawn by Ben, not Safe for Work site. Ben was actually a, uh, as you can see right here, Ben actually uh, designed this, and it was based on a fan art concept that someone made. And Flame Toys decided to take that concept and thought it was really cool, and basically made it into this thing right here, as you can see. Now, Geekwit Gateway basically uh, asked the question, saying, "Hello, and thank you for reaching out." We sincerely appreciate your support of Fonari model Windblade is still in progress. However, we are still dealing with uh, some issues of it, hence we removed it uh, on the post for now. We will do our best to pl please look forward to further information. Pl best regards to the toy. Considering that the harassment against, the to um, against this was none other than uh, one person named Genevieve Frank, for those who don't know, is an American lawyer and Transformers fan. Having watched it Generation 1 as a child in 1984, and I can confirm she has a really big collection of Transformers toys on social media. And I'm not going to try to, you know, disrespect her, but she's a, a big uh, contributor to uh, TransformersWikipedia.net as Miss Tribuchet. In 2000, and you can see right here, this is the Wikipedia. In 2018, uh, she helped uh, John Blair of IDW Publishing, and she also uh, gave the, um, the idea of the leading character RC in a, con a controversial debut in IDW's cont continuity years earlier. And you can see right here, she also <laughs> gave the idea of the retconning of female and transgender Cybertronians. Yeah, that's all she was known for. And yes, she's a trans woman. Now, I actually the reason why I decided not to name her in my last video is because, and keep this in mind, I'm going to be nice about this, it's because of the fact that uh, people were claiming that I harassed her. No, I did not. I basically, dis basically pointed out her issue, basically disrespecting the community by basically saying that, oh, we're going to jerk off to this. Making snide remarks and basically trolling which was what she was doing to the community as you can see basically going off on the deep end of basically making like little snipe jokes to the community by attacking a third party company and then going off on the on the transformers fans who actually really liked this design and basically got upset of by the fact that there's a community of people that want to watch this that actually want to you know see this toy being being sold in the marketplace but you have to understand it's not being sold to children it's being sold to uh, a certain Pacific um, fan base of people which is in Japan and Asia and also it's going to be outside of Asia which a lot of people are pre are possibly going to plan on pre-ordering this this toy well, actually it's a model kit but keep this in mind you know there were some people that that was like a small majority of them and you can see that <laughs> the the people right here honestly disagreed with with her and her actions of what she did now there were some people that there was only a few people that that described this toy as disgusting and i thought it was kind of i'm gonna go ahead and read these comments i'm gonna do like little funny voices just to just just to keep this in mind i know what they say is kind of cringy as hell <laughs> But I'm going to say it anyways, but I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. Good thing the vast majority of my Twitter friends think that Flame Toys Windblade is disgusting because I'm 
so blocking every single person who is drooling over that hideous thing and slash or attacking others who have the right to criticize how over sexualized this toy is yes you have every right to uh criticize the toy but at the same time you don't you can easily not ignore it and move on and not and say you don't want to buy this toy you don't have to support flame toys you don't have to buy into their to, to the idea of them s selling it because they have every right to it's appealing to a certain demographic and then of course when this person brought up i think what makes flame toys windblade especially silly is that it's made for a demographic that's not represented of the tf fandom well it represents the fandom who are into the anime aspect of it which is the japanese and the chinese which are into that stuff keep that keep that in mind heck i even got the the transformers super god master force and i even watched it in japanese which too bad they couldn't make an english version of this because it would be great but unfortunately that's all i could get out of this now there was also the fact that from another person um, I'm going to probably try an old school <laughs> voice of him. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do this like this. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. Keep this in mind. Uh, bear with me, guys. Okay. Okay. That Flame Toys Wind Blade is horrible. And if you're defending it up to and including the point of targeted harassment you're the disgusting scum of the earth disagree and go ahead and unfollow me right now my content is not for you i'm not playing around <laughs> i'm sorry guys it's kind of sad that these people react to this but considering that Genevieve kind of said some things to the community and basically got upset and, and tried to belittle the f fandom. And she even deleted tweets that she said certain things that I recalled were negative towards the fandom of the TF community. And keep this in mind, I have no, no ill will towards her, but the way she was behaving, and I had to criticize it, is that you directly attacked the third party, the third party company that was making this toy or the model kit of this thing, which it doesn't mean it's going to be sold in in stores. It's just going to be, people are going to pre-order it and collect it. And if you think that people are going to spend thousand or two hundred dollars or more on this toy to jerk off to it, I because I actually asked you a question: Would you shove Big Comboy into your booty hole, which AKA Optimus Prime in in Big Comboy mode? And the, and the thing is, I tried to ask you that question. You haven't replied yet. So please, Genevieve Frank, would you actually do that to Optimus Prime? That's the question. <laughs> but as far as I know, a lot of people need to understand. I'm, I'm not going to try to be mean to her because I understand, you know, she thinks that the whole community is going to jerk off to... To, to to this but it's a but there's a community of transformers fans that are in asia that would probably buy this toy but it's sad that that genevieve frank thinks it's a bad idea to sell it it's basically people who want to pre-order this and it's basically a, a certain fan base that wants this type of toy and despite, I had to agree with someone's pointing out that this is sold to a demographic that's in Asia and other countries, and even in China might buy this. But if you really don't want this, then you have a right not to buy it or even try to, you know, harass a company over this. You shouldn't have to. You just should have just ignored it and moved on. Even if you don't like the idea of this concept because it's over sexualized. You shouldn't have to, you know, harass a company and, and tell them, oh, I don't like this because it's over-sexualized. You should go ahead and say, hey, I'm not going to buy this. I don't think this toy is for me. It's not for, for me anyways. It's not for, for you. You don't even have to buy it. Like I said, you're getting upset over something you could have moved past and just and not have to belittle the fan base by disrespecting them and telling them, oh, you like this? Tough shit. 
you masturbate to this anime waifu, blah, blah, blah. You shouldn't be doing that. You should just say, hey, I don't like this. I'm not going to buy this. That's it. Move on and, and live your life. But, of course, I will give props to Flame Toys for not bowing down to this type of people who are harassing them. Because they have every right to sell this. Because I, I would love to see this toy happen. Because of the fact, this is the type of thing I wish we seen back in the days when Transformers was out. Like, I wish there were nice toys like this that would hap would actually be designed like this. Anyways, guys, leave your thoughts down below and tell me what you think. Because I have to go. Bye-bye. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs>